I want to explain to you why hearing isn't listening. Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. If you happen to be watching on YouTube, glad you're here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes. Hearing isn't listening. Are you ready? Let's get started. This is part of an ongoing series that we've been doing on listening, and this is the next logical piece of that from my perspective, because when we think about listening, we often thinking, think about it being something we do with our ears. We think of listening as an auditory act, which it is, kinda. Uh, let me tell you a way that I can promise I can upset my wife, Lori. And not, not that I wanna do it, but trust me, I've done it many times. Here's the situation. I'm in the living room. I'm reading a book or I'm watching the television. She's in the kitchen, making dinner, doing something in the kitchen in another room. And she's talking to me and I'm looking at the book or looking at the TV and she says something and I say, I'm listening. And she says, no, you're not. And then I decide to prove it to her by repeating back what she's just said. Uh, but that just makes it worse. That's when the getting upset part really happens because it makes the point that I want to make to you today that hearing isn't listening. A playback isn't enough. Just showing people that you heard the words while is okay, it's not the same as listening, right? Now, back in the first episode in this series, I asked the question, how can you tell if people are listening? And it wasn't about ears. It was about eye contact and body language and leaning forward and nodding and all of those things, right? Um, doing those things doesn't help us hear, but they absolutely help us listen because there's more to listening than just the words themselves. You see, whether we are listening is ultimately judged by the other person. They make that determination by our behaviors, which is exactly the story I showed with Lori. Like she says, no, you're not listening. It doesn't look like you're listening. You don't, you're not getting all of the intricacies of what I'm saying. You're not hearing anything between the words. So we, I'm saying I'm listening. I make my determination based on my intention. But the other person's deciding based on our behaviors. And so when the behaviors don't match the intention, we lose. The listening doesn't happen and all of the other possible negative things can come from there. You see, you need to remember that listening is more than just hearing the message. I want to tell you a little bit about our latest book, which is called The Long Distance Leader. It's the second edition of The Long Distance Leader, where we're helping leaders who lead at a distance in any way be more effective, to be more confident, and get better results. If that's something that you face, if you lead a team at distance in hybrid, distributed, virtual, anything at all, this book is for you. I hope you'll look, uh, learn more about it and get your copy by going to kevineikenberry.com slash LDL. Now let me close today's episode with our remarkable reminder. You can hear what someone is saying, but if your body language and behavior doesn't match in the eyes of the other person, you aren't listening.